Mr. Investor Lot, welcome back to the channel, baby. Today we're going to be talking about Nano Dimension, SpaceX, and the juicy news that Elon Musk's SpaceX will build NASA's lunar lander. This is just going to be a short, speculative kind of video. I'm going to put some pieces of the pie together and tell me what you think. If you're new around here, my name is Miguel. I look for the biggest, juiciest growth stocks. And I've actually been buying Nano Dimension as it's come down in price. I bought it in the $7.50 range, $7.60 range. So I've been lowering my average right now. My average is around about $10 now. Always remember, none of this is financial advice. It's for entertainment only. If you're able to support my channel, please click the join button above my head. It's only 99 cents. You can choose any tier. And it really helps me create good quality content. But if you're unable to, just you hitting like and clicking subscribe on this video means the world to me thank you so much for joining my family okay so when this news just landed today they're talking about a contract that is worth 2.9 billion dollars so elon musk spacex is receiving that money from nasa this is to do with the lunar lander that they're planning to build as part of the artemis mission and they want to send humans to the moon by 2024 so they're saying that this is like a big vote of confidence because no one else has got money from nasa only spacex is going to be the one as you can see here no other company received money the contract is between nasa and SpaceX and they expect it to be signed on May the 1st. So this mission involves four astronauts that are going to be launched on NASA's space launch system aboard the Orion spacecraft. From there two people will then transfer to SpaceX's lunar lander and they'll spend a week on the moon exploring the surface of the moon. I heard it gets really cold up there um, on the dark side of the moon so they got to make sure that lander is foolproof baby. Then after their short holiday on the moon, they're going to get aboard the lander and head back to Orion. So it looks like this contract is just testing the waters. The contract is for an uncrewed flight and a single crewed landing. So are they planning to build space stations around Mars? Are they planning to try and colonize Mars? What are they exploring? Are they trying to find alien bases up there? I don't know, baby. But here's why I think Nano Dimension may benefit from this kind of collaboration. Nano Dimension's partners are L3 Harris and NASA. It's been mentioned before by Yoav Stern in an interview. And so when they sent up their 3D printed radio frequency circuits, this was to the International Space Station. What they're doing was demonstrating that the technology and what they are able to produce is ready for the environment, the harsh terrains of space. So now they're testing it aboard the space station. Nano Dimensions 3D printed RF board is going to be tested for its mechanical support mechanisms, thermal resistance and electrical insulation for the surrounding structure. So they're testing this on the International Space Station for six months before being brought back to Earth for evaluation previously as well because Nano Dimensions has this partnership with L3 Harris, L3 Harris and SpaceX have actually booked a contract in as well to build missile tracking satellites for defense architecture. So they do win contracts together as well. So I'm wondering, will Nano Dimensions technology be used by SpaceX? Are SpaceX going to book in since Nano Dimension already has this partnership with NASA and L3 Harris? So finally, here's the tweet that set it all off. NASA has selected Starship to land the first astronauts on the lunar surface since the Apollo program. Program. We are humbled to help NASA Artemis usher in a new era of human space exploration. For me, it seems it's pretty expensive. I didn't know it's that expensive to actually have, you know, a single mission to the moon and a week vacation on the moon will cost you $2.9 billion. Damn man, only Jeff Bezos can go for those vacations. So let me know your thoughts and feelings about this. Do you think Nano Dimension will be um, picked to maybe 3D print and supply some parts for this mission, especially in six months time when they bring it back from the International Space Station and NASA says like you know what this is legit this is good quality this rf these rf amplifiers right here okay guys i'm gonna head off to bed thank you so much for watching i love and appreciate all of you guys please drop me some comments down below let me know what your thoughts and feelings are and if you're able to support my channel please click the join button or join my patreon you can also get some free stocks with weeble and the link is in my description box below these two free stocks are valued up to 1850 dollars but you have to deposit 100 dollars first so you can get access to that 1850 dollars possible free stocks you're in for a chance of winning stocks like google facebook and starbucks thank you very much for watching please hit that like hit the subscribe button and i'll catch you next time